If you've watched my videos for a long time, you'll know that I've used a fitness tracker or activity tracker for many, many years. Well, on my wrist, I've got the very latest Fitbit Versa. So let's take a closer look. So this is the special edition Fitbit Versa, and this is what comes inside the box. We get a little quick start guide to get us up and running. We also get a selection of watch straps. This is what differentiates this from the standard edition. So I've got the cloth type strap already on the Versa. Uh, it comes in both large and small sizes. You can see here I've got the small one fitted. The large one is quite a bit longer. I purchased this because I thought that I would really like the cloth strap. But in fact, I find it comfortable to wear, but it slips around my wrist too much. So I've been sort of switching between it and the rubber straps, and I prefer the rubber strap than the cloth version. So a little bit disappointed in that respect. Also inside the box, you of course get a charger, and it is a proprietary charger again. It's a USB connection on one end, and then we've got this section here. Now it's better than previous generations because this can actually sit on a desk very nicely. You do still have to pick it up because you have to push these two tabs in and that sort of opens the charger up. And then you can place it on the charger like so and then onto your desk. Obviously when it's charging, it will show you that it's charging as well. It's a nice solution, but yet another thing to carry around. So let's take a closer look at the Fitbit Versa itself. We've got the heart rate sensor on the back with the contacts for actually charging the watch. We've got quick release on the watch straps as well, which is really nice. And then we've got three buttons, one on this side, which uh, sort of acts like a home button and also for waking up the display. And then we've got two action buttons. This one takes us into the exercise settings and then the bottom one takes us into the alarms. Now we can also use gestures so we can swipe down to notifications. We can swipe up to a today page. And then we can also swipe to the left, which takes us into sort of the main menu options. And here we've got exercise, music, alarms, clock. We've also got relax, weather, timer, and wallet. And then we've also got the main settings, tips, Strava, and Deezer. So very nicely set out sort of menu. Now let's go back to that main clock face. And here you can see I've got the current time, also my steps, calories burn, and heart rate. Now, this is all controllable via the app, and the Fitbit app is one of the best. They've developed it really nicely, and in here we can actually control everything we need to with the watch face. So we can go into clock faces, and we can see our current clock, and we can actually pick a new clock, and there are plenty to choose from. I did find that some of these actually seem to connect via Wi-Fi to pull down information, so they were a little bit slow to respond. So I switched back to one of the Fitbit developed uh, clock or watch designs. But there are some really fun ones. Look at this, we've even got virtual pets in here. So you really can customize the watch face to your personal liking. And the rest of the app is really well laid out. On this main dashboard, we gain access to our steps, floors climbed, miles, calories, minutes of activity. We can track an exercise. We can also track our sleep here as well. It's also got a move reminder, which I think is really nice. So it gets you to do 250 steps every hour throughout the time that you set within the app. I think that's a really nice feature to get you up and moving. As I mentioned earlier, it is super comfortable, but with this strap, it is a little bit slippery. Uh, you've got this raise to wake feature. So when you tilt it at a certain angle, the watch face will light up and show your current stats and obviously the time and date. And then it goes to sleep automatically to conserve battery. You're gonna get between four and five days of battery life on a single charge, which I think is more than acceptable for a device like this, much better than a smartwatch that you have to charge every single day. So in closing, let's give you my conclusion. Well, I don't really like smartwatches. I think they get in the way. So I do prefer a fitness tracker every single time. And I think Fitbit have got a winner on their hands with this one because it's super lightweight, very comfortable to use, a great battery life, and it's got those extra features if you want to use them. So it gets my thumbs up, gets my seal of approval, and I hope this video does too. Please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very soon.